Welcome to New Orleans, where we've got another party of the century going on. But this time, this bash truly is unprecedented. Never before have these fans seen a Saints team with 13 wins, let alone 13 wins to start a season. Indeed, the New Orleans Saints of all teams are just three wins away from a perfect regular season, but look who stands in their way tonight. While folks in these parts wore paper bags on their heads, 400 miles west of here, the Dallas Cowboys built a proud winning tradition that in recent Decembers has taken one hit after another. Tonight, the Cowboys enter this game as the team in desperate need of a win, while the Saints could complete the role reversal by rolling to a record of 14-0. It is time for a big-time edition of Saturday Night Football, right here on NFL Network. It may be called the Big Easy, but it's hard to play in a town that's got all that jazz and then some. Famous for miscues and sour notes, New Orleans is playing a different tune these days, one in perfect pitch. This group has found a serious groove on both sides of the ball and has Saints fans dancing in the aisles. Saints fans are loving every second of it. But being among the NFL's elite is not familiar territory for New Orleans. For the boys from Texas, it is far from their first rodeo. They pack more weapons than a sheriff's posse and had hogtied the division lead in November. One, two, three, Cowboys! Recent mistakes down the stretch have shot Dallas's postseason square in the foot. The Cowboys have some soul searching to do. But when it comes to the past, these boys don't have to remember the Alamo. All they have to do is forget December. Redemption and perfection are both on the line tonight. He's showing up tonight! There's blood in the water, baby! Let's go for the kill! So strike up the van. This one's going to be a big hit. It's the Dallas Cowboys and the New Orleans Saints on this special edition of Thursday Night Football on NFL Network. Welcome to the Lexus Free Kick Show. The December to Remember sales event now through January 4th. Welcome inside the Superdome where the playoff atmosphere is palpable. These Saints fans are ready to explode and the Dallas Cowboys would love nothing more than to hang a loss on the New Orleans Saints and get everybody off their back with the December swoon talk. Welcome to the Lexus pre-kick show set. I am Rich Eyes and joined by Steve Mariucci, Deion Sanders, and George Washington Carver graduate himself <laughs> from right here in New Orleans, the favorite son of the Big Easy, Marshall Falk. The uh, big news for the Dallas Cowboys to impart to you regards to Marcus Ware. He is active tonight, just six days after putting everybody's hearts in their collective throats being carted off with a neck injury in the loss to the San Diego Chargers. He is active tonight. Jeremy Shockey, however, is not for the Saints. Here's tonight plot lines presented by Up in the Air, a fantastic movie, by the way, that's in the theater near you. The uh, New Orleans Saints have something that's right there. They don't have everything wrapped up like the Indianapolis Colts, who are now 14-0, as we saw live on NFL Network Thursday. They still have lots to play for. Do they go undefeated when it's Without all said and done? Without a doubt. They will They will continue the undefeated streak, 14-0, as in the New Orleans Saints culture. Here's the thing. In order for that to not to happen, the Dallas Cowboys have to play the kind of game that I have not seen them play this year. So in saying that, there's no way that they beat the New Orleans Saints. I agree with you. I think the Saints will come out fast and they will come out furious. But the Saints could get overconfident because after an emotional high, normally there's emotional low. It's not going to come next week against Tampa Bay Buccaneers because we all know they're the NFL's homecoming team. But it could <laughs> come the week after with the Carolina Panthers. 19th against the rush is the New Orleans Saints, and Carolina can run the ball. And, Coach, it may be inclement weather that week. Well, it might be. But tonight, the Cowboys have got to get out of the gate fast because this crowd right here 
here. They're going to have to weather that storm. 112 decibels. This this crowd base has just feeling it at the end of their fingertips. An undefeated season, and they're going to go for it. So many weapons on offense with Meacham and Henderson and Colson and Bush and on and on, and the trigger man, Drew Brees. They're ready to go for an undefeated season. And those are tonight's plot lines presented by Up in the Air in theaters this Christmas. Aerial coverage of tonight's game is presented by Southwest Airlines. The latest indication of just how big a game this is, we've got a blimp providing aerial coverage of a game played inside a dome. Thursday night pre-kick show special edition is brought to you by Lexus. The Lexus December to Remember sales event. Now through January 4th at your Lexus dealer. And by Sears. More values, more Christmas. That's life well spent. Sears. Cable cam of tonight's game in the Louisiana Superdome is brought to you by Jared's, the Galleria of Jewelry. The magic number that the Saints to wrap up home field advantage in this dome throughout the playoffs is two. Any combination of Saints wins or Vikings losses, with matching number two would wrap things up for the Saints. The Cowboys who began this month as the three seed atop the, a the NFC East is now the sixth seed hanging on to a wild card spot that would no longer be theirs if they lose tonight and the Giants win on Monday Night Football in Washington where the Cowboys head next before hosting the Philadelphia Eagles at home in an all important game in week number 17 to wrap up the regular season. Dion, I think it goes without saying, but it's our job to say this is a must-win game for the it's Cowboys. It's a must-win. We think the New Orleans Saints are reaching, going for perfection. They are, and the pressure would be on them. But no, the pressure is on the Dallas Cowboys because if you lose this one, futuristic ramifications. Head coach Wade Phillips, man, I'll holler at you because if you lose this one, you might as well go and take the whole coaching staff. And it's really not his fault. Kicker Nick Folk, three for his last night. He can go. I'll holler at you. And quarterback Tony Romo, can he ever win the? big one and he may lose all hope with the Dallas Cowboy football fans. Well if the Cowboys win they just keep on swinging but if they lose it's time for some serious soul searching with Jerry Jones. We just had him on the set and he's a little nervous tonight because if they lose now they've got to reevaluate where they're headed. Very proud organization hasn't won a playoff game since 1996. That's not good enough for them. So you evaluate coaching player personnel how you draft scouting what they eat, how they lift weights. The whole gamut has to be reevaluated. Hey, this is supposed to be the Cowboys' year. They got rid of T.O., made everything Romo friendly, and to not make the playoffs or to make it to the playoffs and not win a playoff game, boy, Jerry Jones will make changes, and we know that. Oh, yeah. It's been five years since the Dallas Cowboys suffered a three game losing streak. They would have their first three game losing streak since then if they drop this one tonight in the Superdome 10 minutes and 30 seconds until the New Orleans Saints try to do what you saw the Indianapolis Colts do on NFL Network earlier this week remain perfect and stick a large dagger in the hopes of the number six seed in a conference. Tonight we're in New Orleans, Louisiana, the Superdome for Thursday Night Football Special Edition as the Saints host the Dallas Cowboys. The New Orleans Saints at 13-0 on the season, the highest win total in franchise history. Trying to continue their run to perfection. Momentarily. Well, for the New Orleans Saints, 13-0. We saw Indianapolis here on NFL Network on Thursday night get to 14-0. The Saints will now try to hold serve tonight. And while parts of the country have been hit with a snowstorm today, the Saints have, Saints have rained down a blizzard 
with offense on opposition this year. And they need a victory because they're trying to stay ahead of the Minnesota Vikings for the number one seed in the NFC. For the Dallas Cowboys, well, the story remains the same. Right now, they control a wild card spot, but they've gone 12 consecutive years with a non-winning record in December and January. They're trying to break that streak tonight, and they need this football game in a very bad way. Matt Millen, when you take a look at the New Orleans Saints and what they can do on offense, it all starts with one man and their quarterback, Drew Brees. Well, you know, it's funny because he came here four seasons ago, and he opened a window. And every now and then in the National Football League, you get a window that opens like this. Two consecutive years, he has been on fire. He's just kind of rewritten everything down here in New Orleans, and he's on pace to be able to rewrite everything else. And when he's on, which has really been for the past two years, he is magic. At home, off the charts. Drew Brees manages the pocket well, manages his offense well, and yeah, he manages his team very well. And you saw what his numbers were in this building. That enables them to play an aggressive brand of defense. Matt, they forced 37 turnovers this season. Why are they so successful? Well, part of it is scheme, and it's always scheme. But you can't have any scheme if you don't have the players. And when you look at this New Orleans Saint defense, there are two guys that just pop right out, Darren Sharper and Jonathan Vilma. Darren Sharper comes in here. We talked about him on the pregame show about what a great free agent acquisition it was. Here's why. Great leadership, great playmaking ability, and consistency. And, oh, speaking of consistent, Jonathan Vilma. Vilma has played the inside and has solidified that front seven. He's the brains of it, and they play extremely well. And those guys are going to be key components of trying to slow down the Dallas Cowboys. We talked about the Cowboys' struggles, and they've lost two in a row, losing last week to San Diego. But Tony Romo has played well despite the losses. Tony Romo has played well, and he's going to have to continue to do that. But here's the big thing. They, as an offense, are going to have to. What do I mean by that? You can't drive the field and come up empty-handed. You have to have points on the other end. Romo is the catalyst for that whole thing. He can beat you with his arm. He can beat you with his feet. He's going to need both tonight against an opportunistic defense. And the Cowboys got good news. Demarcus Ware, who suffered a neck injury, a muscle injury to his neck last week against San Diego, was carted off, will play tonight. Deion Sanders said you have to have playmakers. That is a playmaker. Demarcus Ware can make it happen. He puts pressure on the quarterback. He is going to be a big key in tonight's football game. It's going to be a lot of fun here in the Dome. Mardi Gras is starting early here in, in New Orleans with the New Orleans Saints and the Dallas Cowboys. You know, a lot of fans that are fired up about this football game. And, you know, New Orleans off to this great start. And the Dallas Cowboys kind of in a desperation mode. When you take a look at this matchup, though, Matt, it comes down to the playmakers being able to make big plays. And the Cowboys even said, we need to run the football, but we need to make big plays down the field. And they, and they are going to have to run the football. But the bottom line for them is they have to knock the quarterback down. That's an old, that's an old adage in the National Football League. You have to be able to knock the quarterback to the ground. They have protected Breeze very well. He does a great job of managing the pocket. That's why DeMarcus Ware and Anthony Spencer on the other side have to put pressure and knock Breeze to the ground. Here's Terry McCauley, our referee. Helmet is heads, the NFL shield is ta tails. Dallas is visiting, who's going to call the toss? 82, what's your call? Tails. tails. His call is tails. His heads, New Orleans won the toss. You want the ball? Stay where you are. New Orleans won the toss, we'll receive. Well, just what the fans came to see, New Orleans on offense first, as we turn things over to our public address announcer, Chuck Edwards. Chris Henry of the Cincinnati Bengals tragically lost his life at the age of 26. Please join your New Orleans Saints, the Dallas Cowboys, and the National Football League in a moment of silence as we remember Chris Henry. Thank you. Thank you for watching the Lexus Free Kick Show. Brought to you by the December to Remember Sales Event. Thursday Night Free Kick Show Special Edition is brought to you by Lexus. The Lexus December to Remember Sales Event. Now through January 4th at your Lexus dealer.
Welcome to the following presentation of the National Football League on NFL Network. have to be at your best and start to play at your best in December. As you get to this point, you really know what you're fighting for. The main objective is to win the Super Bowl. Our pursuit of perfection is next on NFL Network. We gotta be special. We gotta finish strong. Back in New Orleans, it's the Saints and Cowboys. We told you DeMarcus Ware is going to play for Dallas tonight. For more on that, we sent it to the sideline of Alex Flanagan. Hey, Bob, DeMarcus Ware will play. Wade Phillips kind of calling it a play it by here situation. They would definitely like to use DeMarcus Ware on third down situations, if not more. Kind of let him go out there and see how it feels. The injury on Sunday in which he was carted off the field appeared a bit more serious back then than it actually turned out to be. Phillips likening it to a cold muscle in his neck, saying that he has not lost any strength in his neck at all. And Bob and Matt, even a limited DeMarcus Ware, though, gives the Cowboys their best chance at putting some pressure on Drew Brees. Well, Alex, you're 100% right. Uh, a 90% DeMarcus Ware is worth a lot better, 100% of a lot of guys in the National Football League. I think that's the best pass rusher in this league. And he'll get a chance to play tonight. New Orleans won the toss. They will receive David Beeler, a rookie out of USC, with 21 touchbacks on kickoffs. We'll kick it off to Courtney Roby, averaging 27 yards a return. Roby has taken one back for a touchdown this season. And Beeler gets the game underway. And Roby's going to take a knee, so the Saints will start first and ten at their only tw own 20 yard line, led by Drew Brees. On the season, 32 touchdown passes, 10 interceptions. That's the second most in the NFL behind Peyton Manning, who we saw on Thursday night. Throw it all over Jacksonville. Brees is going to have a chance to regain that lead tonight as you look at the starting offense for the New Orleans Saints. Marcus Colston with 56 catches on the season. Devery Henderson with 43. Jeremy Shockey inactive tonight with a turf toe injury for New Orleans. Breeze on the check down. Reggie Bush picks up about two. Terrence Newman. Pro Bowler from two years ago on the tackle. Well, when you watch this New Orleans Saint offense, the one thing that just stands out at you is the play of Drew Brees. And like we said in the pregame, he's the catalyst that makes it go. But there's more to it than that. That man right there, Sean Payton, what you really see is they are, they have great synergy. They are on the same page, and they are fearless in how they attack a game and call a game. And DeMarcus Ware was not on the field for the first snap. Breeze to throw with plenty of time. Looks over the middle to Dave Thomas. Grabbed around the collar by Brady James after a gain of three. Uh, remember what I just said on the front end of it. It's an old football adage. You have got to knock the quarterback to the ground. Now, the old Raider rule when I played a million years ago was a simple one, and it was a madness. If that guy gets hot, knock him down. It doesn't matter kind of how you do it. You just kind of got to get him on the rear end, on his rear end and let him know you're there. And that man is the key to knocking him down. Saints go with an empty set. Rees on third down, short of the sticks. To Dave Thomas, a yard short. Orlando Scandrick on the tackle after a gain of six. Saints go three and out. Well, if you're going to get any kind of pressure, it has to come from DeMarcus Ware. And keep in mind, right now, he's getting a feel for where he is. He's not practiced. He's run around a little bit, but he's not really had any contact at all since a week ago. So he's figuring out exactly where he's at as well. Morstead to punt with a good high punt. Patrick Creighton from his own 15. Creighton hit and drop at the 22-yard line. Pearson Prelo on the tackle after a 56-yard punt 
and a seven yard return. So Tony Romo 35 and 17 is a starting quarterback. Including his passes at 62%, 22 touchdowns, seven interceptions. Well, for the Dallas Cowboys, it's real simple. They've moved the ball and they've had success, but they have to get points at the end of their drives. Whitten in motion and a two tight end look. Barber the tailback. Marion Barber on first down, bounces off a tackle and Gets thrown down at the 30-yard line after a gain of eight. You know, a lot has been said about the Dallas Cowboys and how, you know, what's wrong with the Dallas Cowboys? Well, let me tell you what's not wrong with them. What's not wrong with them is they can run the football. And they have balance. What they haven't had, like we just mentioned, is points on the other end. And so they have to be able to finish drives. Finishing drives will mean six points. Romo delay handoff Felix Jones with a first down up to the 40 yard line. Randall Gay on the tackle after a gain of 10. Jason Garrett dialing up the three. Look at got two tight ends and the back in the middle and it's just a double lead. Felix Jones just right up inside. Get this big offensive line and it can be physical. Let him get after this defense. Greg Williams' defense. Defensive coordinator Greg Williams. Remember, he was in Washington. Romo went against his defensive philosophy twice a year. Romo on a first and ten. Knocked away by Vilma, intended for Whitten. Jonathan Vilma acquired in a trade last year. 105 tackles, three interceptions on the season. He was a pro bowler with the Jets when they played a 4-3. Had trouble when Mangini went to New York adjusting to the 3-4. But now he's back in that more traditional 4 yeah, but what he never has trouble with is leadership. And very bright guy. And sees things and controls his front seven as well as any middle backer in this league. Second and ten. Miles Austin, big play threat in motion. Romo on the check down. Nice catch on the run by Jones. And he's got a first down, gain of ten to the New Orleans 49. Let's take a step back and look at this Dallas Cowboy offense. And you say, okay, did they have speed? Yeah. Felix Jones has speed. You have speed on the outside. You have, do you have a quarterback who can make some plays? Yes. Tony Romo can make plays. He's got a big arm. He can make all the throws. He can beat you with his feet. The only thing they haven't had is the finishing. And that's what they have to do. And that really, Bob, that comes down to fundamentals. Terry McCauley is going to ask for the chains to be brought from the far side for a measurement right in front of the Saints bench as to whether Jones got the necessary yardage. And it is a first down. Let me say this about this officiating crew, and I don't want to jinx him. But I think that guy might be the best referee in the National Football League. I think he's as good as there is. Terry McCauley never, this is why I always looked at a game about with a referee. Does he keep, does he keep control on the field? He does, and so does his crew. From the Saints 49, Barber in a one back set. Romo for Miles Austin. Got it. Touchdown, Cowboys. 49 yards. It's a simple nine route. That's just straight down the field. You just take it down that left side and go. And use your speed. We said, do they have speed? Yeah, they do. It's a double. Get him to bite just a tad. Jenkins just hesitates. And then Miles hits the next gear. And it's six points. Austin is ninth touchdown catch of the year. And that snaps the streak of first drives without a touchdown for the Cowboys. Tony Romo. In his second week as holder, the hold for Nick Falk. And the extra point is good. So Tony Romo throws his 23rd touchdown pass. They needed big plays, and they got one from Miles Austin.
Thursday Night Football Special Edition is brought to you by Southwest Airlines. Go to southwest.com, grab your bag, it's on. And by Bud Light, with the just right taste that's not too heavy, not too light. The difference is drinkability. A great look at New Orleans on this Saturday night. Offensive coordinator Jason Garrett dialing up the right play. Miles Austin, a 49 yard touchdown catch after Drew Brees and the Saints went three and out. The Cowboys with a 7 0 lead here in the first. Five plays, 79 yards, and a 49 yard touchdown pass to Miles Austin. Feeler taken by Linnell Hamilton. Hamilton out to the 28 yard line. Cowboys needed some big plays and they got it. They went over the top. They lead it 7 0 here in the first. Cowboys come out and unbounce and they take Doug Free, put him on the left side. You have Witten inside. They're going to go max protect. And then, real simple, Romo sees this nine route down the left side. It's double, it's completely max protected. It's really it's a two man route. And you're betting it all that Miles Austin could run past him. And the Dallas Cowboys do exactly what Steve Mariucci said they had to do, score early. On a first and ten, Pierre yeah, Thomas in the game for the first time takes it to the 33. Gain of five, Jeremy Shockey battling turf toe. 48 catches on the season with three touchdowns. Uh, inactive for tonight's game, the four-time Pro Bowler. He was a game-time decision. John Payton and his staff have had to manage quite a few injuries, especially on the defensive side of the ball. So Dave Thomas, the former Patriot, will get the primary work at tight end. Thomas on the second and five. Stood up by Igor Olshansky and driven back after the game of two. Take a look at Cowboys defense. As a defense, they give up 16.8 points for ball game. Three guys in that defensive line I think are playing exceptional. Is Ratliff, the nose tackle, number 90. And then Spencer, 93, the one outside backer, and DeMarcus Ware, the other one. That's a pretty solid front seven defense, but those three have really played pretty darn well. Got a linebacker matched up down here. Third and three. Brees under pressure can't find Bush as Anthony Spencer got pressure on the quarterback. So it's happened to the Saints a couple of times here in the right. second part of the season. Slow starts to games against Miami and Washington, and on two possessions they go three and out. So here's the difference, though. In years past, right now you'd hear a rain of boos, but this this city has learned to understand this offense, and this head coach understands patience is the key. Another high punt by Morstead. Creighton from the 12. Creighton runs out of the tackle. Creighton's got room to the sideline and finally cut down by Chris Reese. 52 yard punt, 29 return. Cowboys by seven. Second possession coming up for the Cowboys. They have a 7 0 lead over the Saints. The Cowboy defense holding the Saints to back to back three and outs. 49-yard touchdown pass, Romo to Miles Austin as the Cowboys strike first. Cowboys start from their own 40. Anderson in motion, Marion Barber on the toss, hit by Will Smith and tackled after a gain of four. Well, Tony Romo and Miles Austin hooking up for the ninth time this season. They've combined for 11 touchdown passes, an NFL record by undrafted teammates. They currently were tied with Billy Bullock and Drew Bennett, who did it for Tennessee in 2004. Romo, a free agent out of Eastern Illinois. Austin, a free agent out of Monmouth. Second and six. Late draw to Barber. Diagnosed well. Game of one as Roman Harper came up from the safety spot to make the tackle. Yeah, which puts you in the third down. And so if you're this New Orleans Saint defense, this is the difference, really, what you've seen in this defense from a year ago to now. Both these defensive ends 
can generate a pass rush. Will Smith on the right side, number 91. Charles Grant on the left, number 94. Both of them got their weight down. They're getting off the ball, and they've been getting pressure. Austin and Choice in the backfield as Choice goes in motion. Romo has Roy Williams in Saints territory to the 40. It's a first down after a gain of 15. 37th catch for Williams. This is Roy Williams. And, you know, some people, you know, a lot of people have been disappointed with Roy. I mean, he had a slow start, and they're saying, what's wrong with Roy Williams? And, you know, here's the answer. The answer is there's nothing wrong with Roy Williams. That's the same Roy Williams that was drafted number one by Detroit and that they traded for. It's how you use him, which is important. He's got tons of skills. You just got to use them right. Barber with the tailback on the first and ten. Austin in space. Runs out of a sharper tackle. And finally dragged down from behind by Malcolm Jenkins. But a gain of 26 for Miles Austin. That is just a spot-on look by, by Romo. Romo comes out, and he's really, the, the safety is over the top. Jenkins jumped inside. You're saying, hey, I'll take Miles Austin against any safety. I don't care who that is. And so when you have the safety coming over the top and you have that speed, you take advantage of it. Cowboys threatening again from the Saints 15. Barber hit by Vilma, tackled at the 11 after a gain of four. You watch this Dallas Cowboy offense, and they run that draw, the one you just saw right there, and it's just a little different twist. And the difference is it is the hesitation that Romo does at the top of it before he hands it off. Most of the time, there's a draw. They just kind of go back and they slip it in. But he'll actually set his feet and make it look like he's going to step and throw, and then he hands it off. Quinton in motion. Austin gets a block inside the 10 and tackled about a yard short of the first down after a gain of five. Humberto, this is the part right here that the Cowboys were talking about yesterday when we sat and talked to them. This is the part where the finish comes in. Get the points. Not three. You've got to get six. This is where Marshall Falk on the front end in our pregame show is saying, this is where this, this Cowboy team has been shooting themselves in the foot. And he's right. And William Randall Gay nicked up on the play. We'll check on him. Cowboys threatening to add to a second. Thursday Night Football Special Edition is brought to you by K Jewelers, the number one jewelry store in America. And by Madden NFL 10, available now. EA Sports. It's in the game. Back in New Orleans, the Cowboys threatening again. Doug Free laid out. Randall Gay, Tracy Porter in. Third and two from the seven. Choice has a first down. Then he spikes the ball. That was not smart. A little bit of penalty. Yeah, but, game. but did you see the heads-up job right there? There's Jerry Jones. Heads-up job at the end of that play. And Miles Austin just hurry up and snatch the ball out of the air. We can see that right there. Just to make sure, and then handed it back. So the Cowboys have a first to go. You know, the crowd's been really loud. Dallas trying to quiet it for the second touchdown here in the first. Here you got a single up top. Whitten in motion. Barber. Touchdown, Cowboys. That's the finish they need. Well, John Phillips laid him out. <laughs> His teammate. John Phillips got a Sousa right on him. John Phillips Sousa. Kind of love that. And your music. Nice, just big power, power football. What they couldn't do a week ago, they got done today. Barber's fifth rushing touchdown of the season. And the Cowboys on two possessions have two touchdowns. Folks, extra point is good. The Cowboys coming in having lost two in a row, but Tony Romo says forget about that. 
14-0 lead here in the first. Aerial cam is being presented by Southwest Airlines. The Cowboys have put on an aerial show early. Marion Barber then runs it in from three yards out. And the Cowboys on two offensive possessions have a 14-0 lead. Somebody told him it's January, not December. <laughs> well, the Cowboys, 12 years without a winning record in December and January, starting this month off 0 and 2, but off to a fast start here tonight. Beeler's kicks and Roby five yards deep. He'll take the knee with 5:15 to go. Let's take a look at the Barber touchdown again. Yeah, and I want you to watch some power. Now watch Witten here, number 82, and then big Flozell Adams right here, and, and Phillips, and then Deion Anderson. And right there is the play. Roman Harper has to make the play, and they don't get it done. And so, <laughs> and when you watch, Flozell Adams did a great job of clearing out his defenders, and then he does an even better job of clearing out his own guys. And you know, Flozell has gotten called for a bunch of penalties. Now you can't get penalized for hitting your own teammate. And that's a unique way to celebrate. That's a nice headbutt. Back to back, three and outs. Here goes Reggie Bush. Across midfield, run out by Mike Jenkins. It's a gain of 32. Well blocked on the inside, where Bush loves to get to the outside. And they're going to take him inside first. There's the hole, and then bound out to the outside. And then you can see Jenkins who pushes him, and Devery Henderson gets a block on him. Watch, there's a push. And then he allows him to be able to get to that top side. Jenkins forces him out. First, first down for the Saints. Mike Bell gets nothing. 437 to go here in the first. Cowboys up 14-0. We talked about the Saints and slow starts. Matt, they're 13-0, and they've allowed 99 points in the first quarter, which is the most in the NFL. Yeah, which is really surprising. And, and the thing that impresses you, though, is Sean Payton's been very patient. And, and knows his team and knows how to get him jump started. And then, like I said earlier, he and Breeze are fearless in how they attack defense. Pierre Thomas in. Breeze sacked. Anthony Spencer came untouched. Loss of 12. Yeah, it's funny how that works when you don't block anybody, they get sacks. Yeah, you get a lot. Anthony Spencer, number 93, no contestant. And it's just a breakdown in in uh, in protection. It looked like Pierre Thomas took the play action fake and got too far up into the line, and he was the one who was supposed to come back and pick it up. Third sack of the year for Spencer. Third and 20. Breeze for the home run. Intended for Devery Henderson, no flag. Allen Ball. Feet got tangled up, incidental. Fisher was right on top of it. And you're right, the, the feet did get tangled up. Plenty of time, and he's just trying right in the middle. Right down the middle of the field. Morstead to punt for the third time. Bounds inside the 20, gets a favorable roll. It'll be down to at the 53 yard punt. Cowboys offense two for two. They've tuned up the Saints so far tonight with a 14 0 game. NFL Red Zone is the new channel from NFL Network. It has changed Sunday afternoons forever. NFL Red Zone takes you as you go game to game for the best moments as they happen live in HD. NFL Red Zone, every touchdown from every game. It is Nirvana. Your son loves it. Yeah, he loves the fact that there's no commercials and he gets to see all the scoring plays. <laughs> yeah, it's all the good stuff. I don't have to worry about all the other things. And John Madden in his oh. studio. He's got the big screen set up. He's got the Red Zone channel on. Every Sunday, enjoying things in post broadcasting life. Well, Greg Williams' defense giving up 14 points on two possessions. 
Cowboys will start inside their own ten. Jones stood up, stop, no game. Scott Fujita, former Cowboy, got the hit, maybe a yard. See how methodically the Cowboys have been able to move it downfield. Miles Austin had a 49-yard touchdown catch on the first possession. A couple key pass plays. Roy Williams and Felix Jones setting up the Barber touchdown on the second possession. Second and nine. They're showing pressure at the line of scrimmage. Romo has time, his favorite target, Jason Witten. First down, gain of 21. Well, they showed the pressure, and then they jumped out and went man-to-man. -man. Brought pressure off the top side, but Jason Witten is just matched up right there with Harper. And this guy just does a fantastic job of using his body. And Romo does a nice job of putting it where only Witten can get it. Witten's 78th catch of the season. Jones, the tailback, Romo, nearly intercepted. Roman Harper had it in his hands and couldn't reel it in. He rushed himself, and this is the part where Tony Romo is good and bad. He's good on the front end. You're going to see he gets pressure, and he gets himself out of the pressure right here. Presley's going to give him pressure now. He takes off with the feet, and then he gets his hands, his eyes up. He looks like he's trying to hit Austin, but the ball just doesn't go where, where he thought it should go. Got away with one there, and that could have been something to jump start the Saints. Down by 14. Jones hit. Short game. Vilma got the hit on him, along with Remy Adele. The Saint defense, the defensive coordinator is Greg Williams. You can see him right there, and he is, this guy is very, very creative. And he gives you a lot of scheme. And what happens most of the time in this league, when you have to have a lot of scheme, that means you're covering up some holes. And they're beat up in the secondary, and that's what he's trying to hide. Cowboys hit a third and one, and a third and five. Plenty of time. Patrick Creighton's got it for a first down. And so they show you stuff on the front end, and then they go too deep and man under. And they, they, Romo throws the ball the only place it can be thrown, down low like that for Creighton. And so they're trying to go hurry up right here so the play can't be reviewed. Cowboys call a timeout with 26 seconds to go. Well, that doesn't make any sense if you're trying to go hurry up so they can't get a review in, and then you turn around and you call the timeout. Gain of 25 on the play. Watch the throw. He throws it down inside where only Creighton can go get it. It's a really well-thrown ball, and it looks like he had control all the way through. One more look at it, Matt, but a perfect throw by Romo. Who is seven for nine for 149 yards and a touchdown? See how he got his hand back underneath. He didn't. He didn't pluck it out of the air, but he got his hand underneath. So when he was able to roll, he had the control. That's a heck of a throw by Romo. And Romo has been absolutely brilliant here in the first quarter. The touchdown pass, seven of nine, 149 yards. And converting that big third and eight. Especially after Harper, Roman Harper, dropped a potential interception. Romo, Witten, chased by Vilma, dragged down by Vilma, but a good game by Witten of seven. You know, you talk to this Dallas Cowboys staff, and Jason Witten's name comes up all the time. 
and how it's associated is real simple. He's a professional, does everything right, the game's important to him, and he loves to play. That's why he's been his quarterback's favorite target. Cowboys running on the Saints. They lead it by 14 after one. Drew Brees and the Saints with minus one yard passing in the first quarter. They have 35 yards of offense to the Cowboys 195 as we start the second quarter here in New Orleans. Cowboys in front. 14 nothing. On a second and three Jones stood up by Vilma and brought down as we sent it down to the sideline. Now it's funny. Hey Bob well the Cowboys have really silenced what we expected to be a loud and crazy crowd here. Darren Sharper said that he has left every home game so far this year with his ears ringing. Not the case so far tonight. And you guys the Cowboys really doing what they set out to do. Remember Tony Romo telling us that they needed to control the clock on this game in the first quarter. They held the ball for nine minutes and 26 seconds compared to the Saints five minutes and 34 seconds. Third and four, Romo Williams incomplete. Tracy Porter has been battling knee injuries on the coverage. Porter had coverage, but there's pressure on Romo to make him throw that ball quick. It's man-to-man -man on the top side. You're going to see it. There's the pressure, and there's Porter. Porter in his second year out of Indiana. Cowboys are going to go for it here. I like this. McBriar came on the field and went off. Cowboys four of eight on fourth downs this year. Fourth and four. And now Romo is going to burn a timeout. Too much time. So what will the Cowboys do? They lead it by 14. Thursday Night Football Special Edition is brought to you by Sprint. Official wireless service sponsor of the NFL. And by the GMC Sierra, the official vehicle of the NFL. Nice view of the Crescent City Connection Bridge. Cowboys going for it on fourth down, leading at 14-0. Here in New Orleans with 14-12 to go in the half. Fourth and four. Witten's a guy that he has a lot of confidence in in these situations. And also his legs buy him time. Looking for Williams. Flag. And they're going to get Mike McKenzie uh -oh. for the penalty. It will be McKenzie. And they went with tight coverage on the outside and they had it singled Hard up. pass. Illegal contact. Defense number 34. Five-yard penalty, automatic, first down. Saints are saying that the ball was uncatchable, but some of it's because of the illegal contact. And they tried to get him on a double move. Tell you what, Matt, you look at that again, that's not a penalty in my book. Roy Williams made it look like a penalty, and the flag's on the field. Interestingly, Romo had Witten underneath, who he loves in those pressure situations. He chose to go to the one-on-one -on, -one on the top side. First penalty keeps the Cowboy drive alive. Number 32. Romo under pressure. Romo is going to get dropped back at the 37. Charles Grant got the first pressure. Loss of five. Remy Adele finished it. Yeah, Remy Adele gets the sack, but Charles Grant makes the play. He's just going to go with the plant. He's going to try to get down here. He's going to roll this way. And Grant does a nice job of redirecting, and then he's able to force him back inside where inevitably the sack is made. Second and 16 at the Saints 38. Romo just gets the playoff. Barber hit by Fujita. Falls ahead for an extra yard or two. Gain of 
four on the play. Mary Butler, six carries, 25 yards so far, and a touchdown. And you were talking earlier about the Saint defense, and we and we talked about their linebackers. And Regina was in Dallas, but he's played pretty well. And he's a guy who doesn't make a lot of mistakes. He reads things very well. You know, you like him to be able to run faster and all those things, but he's a dependable player. And those guys you win with. Third and 12 for the Cowboys. Romo hit, drop, Vilma. Loss of four. They brought pressure, but more importantly, they had coverage down the field. Two man right, you're going to see it on the top side. This man to man, and the pressure on the bottom. Here's the pressure, with, here's with Roy Williams. But because they had the pressure, he wasn't able to locate anybody open. Matt McBriar in the punt. The Cowboys had a field goal range, and they've had some issues with that. Bush. Fair catch at the nine. The Cowboys have to punt the football away for the first time tonight as the Saints dial up some pressure. Cedric Ellis inactive. He's been battling knee injuries. They think he's close to getting back. He's been battling it throughout the course of the season. He is a difference maker. When he's in the game, he changes things up front. Well, the Saints undefeated at 13 and 0, down by 14 to the Cowboys here in the first half. Breeze, Thomas, tackled by Sensabaugh after a gain of nine. Now I want you to take a look at what, what Tony Romo is looking at. So you had your man-to-man -man out here, and the safety is going to jump over the top, which means there's seven inside to bring pressure. Vilma comes on the inside, and he inevitably gets the sack. And because of the pressure, he's not able to see the field, which forces it. Saints quick to the pace. Pierre Thomas has a first down to the 23-yard line after a gain of five. You know, this is not uncharted waters for the undefeated New Orleans Saints. They trailed by 21 against Miami. They trailed by 14 against Carolina. So they've had to dig their way out of some tight spots. They got a fortuitous break in Washington with a missed field goal that enabled them to eventually win that game in overtime. So they're not unfamiliar with being down, but they got to get something going here in the second. And the crowd, the crowd knows it's time. And they have confidence in what the Saint offense has been able to do, particularly with their quarterback. See, Wade Phillips saying the quarterback back up. And that's why his guys went. Ball wasn't snapped. So the penalty goes against the Cowboys. So a free five for the Saints. Reggie Bush in a tailback. Breeze throws a dart, dropped by Colston. Boy, that was really nice though by Drew Breeze. And this, you know, we watched it Thursday night with Peyton Manning and the mastery of the position. And this is a small window. There's a throw to the backside where Colston goes off his fingers. But how he got to that throw was he went to Devery Henderson with his eyes and shoulders to the left side to move everybody. And then he comes back and makes the throw. And Breeze is great at not necessarily using the pump fake, but using his eyes and shoulders to give you the same effect. He manages the pocket as good or better than anybody in the league. Second and five. Cowboys bring pressure. Dave Thomas. As a first down. Jenkins knocked him out after a gain of seven. You know, we're calling this game, and I'm thankful because of I'm, here's the main I'm a big fan of the National Football League. And right now, we have an opportunity to really watch some of the all time great quarterbacking in the history of the National Football League. We watched Peyton Manning on Thursday. Drew Brees is at his zenith. Brett Favre was also right there. And I'll tell you, Phillip Rivers is playing with a hot hand as well. And Romo's played well for the Cowboys. Colston in motion as they give it off 
on the inside to Thomas. Slithers through for three. So what? Anthony Spencer got the first hit. Yeah, so what separates these guys? What separates a Drew Brees or a Manning or a, those guys from the pack? If they're in control. They're in control of their teams. They're in control of their craft. And they're in control of moving people around. And the artistry of what is called quarterback, this is as good as it gets. Second and seven. Breeze gets it out. Meacham has a first down to the 45-yard line. First reception by one of the Saints wide receivers with 9.43 to go in the first half. And so how does he do that? The first, he manages the pocket extremely well. And he's outstanding at the line of scrimmage. Listen up. And see, he's, he's identifying protections, first of all. He gets everybody on the offensive line in the right protection. He's pre-reading the coverage. And then on his first snap, on the first snap, he reads it again. A running on first down, Pierre Thomas. Hit by Brady James, gain of four. Now Brady James hails from Monroe, Louisiana, and he was so excited about the vibe for this game. He said, hey, a lot of my family and friends are Saints fans. I grew up a Saints fan. They're stoked about this environment. He's happy to see the way this city has responded after all it's been through. We'll take a timeout. Cowboys by 14. Thursday Night Football Special Edition is brought to you by Sears. More values, more Christmas. That's life well spent. Sears. And by KFC. Taste the under 400 calorie side of KFC. Well, the Dallas Cowboys say hold that 14 and 0. Center Jonathan Goodwin injured. So Nick Lecky, who was signed as an unrestricted free agent from St. Louis, in at center right now. You always want to watch that first snap, Matt, when a new center comes in, although Breeze is in the shotgun. Breeze with time. Oh, he's good. Colston shoved out of bounds after a gain inside the 20 to the 17 yard line. Gain of 34. Ken Hamlin ran him out. The parallels of these quarterbacks are so, they are so on. Watch him. Looks to his left, knows where it's at, comes right back. He sees Colston back underneath, knows he has the step, and then buys time and allows for the separation to happen, and then that's when he hits Colston for the big play. And if Breeze has time, there's no way that Keith Brooking, a linebacker, is going to stay with Marcus Colston. From the 17, Breeze on first and 10. Looking end zone for Colston, got tied up with Terrence Newman, no flag. Breeze had time, and he knew he wanted to go with that ball. And he had Colston going to the corner. He looks, he's a post. Then Cross gets to the top side. Newman's just anticipating. That's a good non call. It's a good no fly. Yeah, that's a good non call. Drive started at the nine of New Orleans. Pierre Thomas in on a second and ten. Thomas hit gained about a yard. Brady James got the first hit. Dallas defense did a nice job of anticipating the run, and they blitzed right into it. And that, that allows for this third down, and then you can bring the big guns on. And in comes Demarcus Ware. And if he lines up on that right side against Bushrod, that's a matchup that the Cowboys really liked. Right down here, here he is. Oh, now he's going back to the other side. He likes all the matches. He, but he can be anywhere. Here he comes back. He versus Bushrod, is, that's, that's what they were looking for. Throw it for Thomas behind him and incomplete. He was matched up by Bobby Carpenter. Well, he liked, the, he liked that matchup, but this is what the Cowboys like. On, on Bush Rod. Now he just went with speed to the top side and the ball came out fast. But DeMarcus Ware, when he has time and he can use his speed, he has an excellent inside move. That's what that's what puts him at the top of the list. Great feel, 
good inside move. Garrett Hartley will try a field goal from 34 to get the Saints on the board. And Hartley knocks it down the middle. So Drew Brees gets the Saints on the board with 7.23 to go in the half. The Cowboys lead it 14-3. presents a special Christmas edition of Thursday Night Football. The Chargers storming into the postseason. Titans trying to keep their playoff hopes alive, and Chris Johnson continues his pursuit to 2,000 yards. Chargers, Titans, Christmas, 7 Eastern, live on NFL Network. We're here on this Thursday Night Football special edition. Cowboys off to a great start. They scored two touchdowns on their first two possessions. They lead it 14 to 3. Thomas Morstead tied for first in the NFL with 26 touchbacks on kickoffs. Felix Jones will get a chance from a half yard deep. Jones tripped up at the 17 yard line. 18 yard return. Courtney Roby on the tackle. And there is a flag on the play. We talked about two guys being There's on no the same pace. No that looks like a little bit of frustration. And they've picked up the flag. No flag for an illegal block. So Tony Romo, 8 of 11, 156 yards, and a 49 yard touchdown pass to Miles Austin. That got the Cowboys off to a 7 0 lead. in motion. Romo with time. Witten dropped it. He is, Flag a hole. on the play. Yeah, it's a big hole on the left tackle. It looked like it was Flozell. Two flags. One in the secondary. One at the behind the line of scrimmage. There are two fouls on the play. Offensive pass interference. Number 82. That penalty's declined. Holding. Offense number 78. Half the distance to the goal. First down. Penalties actually on Flozell Adams, 76. Yeah, it wasn't so much of a hold as it was a kind of a necktie. Yeah, yeah, the old necktie. Got Bobby McCray right around the neck. He's got to get his feet down. He can headbutt his own teammate. That's fine. He needs to headbutt the defender, and he's got to move his feet. Here's where the Saints have been so good this year, forcing turnovers, jump-starting the offense. Jones with a crease. Felix Jones bounces his way to the 25 as he picks up 17. That was a nice call by Jason Garrett. They showed a cover three, and then right at the end, they jumped to the cover, the, the two shell, which means there's only seven guys down inside, and you can run at them. And then Felix Jones just used his eyes and his speed and creates his second and short. Their adjustment, Jones on the carry. Hit by Vilma, and Jones will get one. Boy, is Jonathan Vilma having an active game tonight? He's got a sack, he's got a bunch of tackles, he's all over the field. And the secret to Jonathan Vilma is Jonathan is not a standalone guy. What do I mean by that? Yeah, he's in control and he's directing everything. He's a guy who can really run, and so you have to cover him up. And that's why when they went to the 34 in New York, he had a little bit of a problem. Because guys, big guys are getting on him. But when you cover him with a guy in front of him, man, he is a playmaking machine. Marion Barber, 8 for 10 on third and ones. He's in the game with Jones. Give for Barber. And he'll fight for extra yardage and gets the first down. Make it 9 of 11 after a gain of two. And that brings the New Orleans Superdome to a hush with 5.30 to go in the half. Now, a week ago when they played San Diego, he got stuffed three times, three consecutive times from the one-yard line going in. 
and he he's a tough running back. But that offensive line's got to get leverage and come off the ball and move people. You can't do it by yourself. Anderson and Barber in the eye. Romo sacked for the third time. Will Smith. Will Smith just beat Flozell Adams with pure speed. Watch him come off the left side. See, he just, he can't, he doesn't move his feet well enough. He's got to kick and get depth. And Smith does a great job of his first two steps and gets to that top side shoulder. And once you're at the shoulder and your hips are even as a pass rusher, you win. Saints called the timeout. Defensive coordinator Greg Williams talks with Jonathan Vilma. Will Smith gets his 11th sack of the year. Well, the Dallas Cowboys control their own playoff destiny at 8 and 5. New Orleans, not only is they pursuing perfection, but they got to hold off Minnesota. One of Minnesota's two losses came to an AFC opponent, Pittsburgh. So as Sean Payton says, we only have a game and a half lead at this point. Dallas. Still controls their own destiny. If they lose tonight, that opens up the door for New York, who plays on Monday night in Washington. And the other will play at Washington next week and then finish the year at home against Philadelphia. The other team to keep your eye on right now are those Green Bay Packers. They're starting to play really well. Barber wasn't ready. Romo's going to keep it. And he takes it up to the 30, gains 10. It was that delayed draw again, but Marion Barber wasn't ready for it. Yeah, it was a delay. It was a de delay like, oh, I forgot. <laughs> and, but this is good heads up by Tony Romo. She's like, hey, take the, you take, I'll take the freaking thing and we'll get a first down. Picked up 10. A good job by Romo to not panic and just keep it and not try to force the ball. As Barber talks things over on the sideline. So third and eight for Dallas in their own 30. Romo got hit as he threw it for Austin who can't reel it in on the sideline. Vilma got pressure on Romo. But Greg Williams isn't afraid to dial stuff up. He went man to man on the outside and brought a blitz again inside. Romo get, got a hit on him as he's letting go of the ball. And it's an incompletion and the Saints survive. Well, you know, you feel the anticipation in this crowd as Reggie Bush awaits the McBriar punt. Bush had three return for touchdowns last year. Great high punt. Flag on the play as Bush takes it out to the 22-yard line. 53-yard punt, tremendous hang time by McBriar. During return, illegal block in the back, receiving team number 15. Half the distance to the goal, first down. Courtney Roby called for the penalty. Well, kickoff tomorrow morning with NFL Game Day morning. The earliest pregame show, 9 Eastern. Our catch of Phillip Rivers one on one. Take a look at the Patriots. They hit the road against Buffalo. They're plowing snow all over the Northeast. We'll have all the updates for you. NFL Game Day morning, 9 Eastern, only on NFL Network. The Redskins have to move like 25 million pounds of snow off FedEx Field. They don't play until Monday night. They already they already uh, changed the, the starting time to two games in the Northeast for tomorrow. Chicago and Baltimore is one of them, and San Francisco and Philadelphia is the other one. They're four o'clock games, or four fifteen. So for the second possession, the Saints will start inside their own ten. Cowboys bring a blitz. Breeze buys time over the middle. First down, Marcus Colston. Eight of 12. I want to show you how Drew Brees manages the pocket, and he does it so well. 
And part of it is feel, part of it is eyes, and part of it is just experience. Watch how he's going to come back and sets his feet. Now, he lets things develop, and he just jumps up inside in that pocket. All the while, his eyes are down the field, knowing he has man-to-man -man coverage, finds his target and hits it. Around the 22. Breeze. Under pressure again, middle of the field, nearly intercepted by Jenkins. That's a mistake. Very rarely do you ever see Breeze throw across his body like that, especially back inside to the middle of the field. That's where all your problems occur in the middle of the field. He bought his time and is able to get not a real fast guy, but manages things. Look at his eyes down the field, down the field, down. Oh, there it is. And he knows better. When that ball's thrown, he knows better. See, that smacks himself in the head like, I know better than that. But you seem to do every day. Yeah, they do it a lot. Leaves a lot of marks. <laughs> Second and 10 for Breeze. It'll be on the offense. Ball start, offense number 17. Five yard penalty, second down. So the false start against the New Orleans Saints. You know, one of the things about Drew Brees is he has tremendous footwork. He was a star tennis player as a kid. In fact, he beat Andy Roddick three times in a row before finally losing to him. We asked him yesterday, he said, Well, you know, I was playing five different sports. I was two years older than Roddick, so when I was 12, he was only 10, but each time he got better. But he did say to us, remember, tennis is good for your footwork. <laughs> he looks like he's holding serve right now. Little check down in space. Reggie Bush injured himself. Pull the hammy. And he'll take himself to the sideline and out of play. It's a gain of 18. Well, let's watch him. Let's watch Drew Brees in the pocket, and he'll show you a little bit of tennis footwork. Here it is. Always well balanced. Feet are always under him, and then step and throw. And he's able to do that because he has protection, and because he can do that, he finds the first down. But that looks like, that looks like a, usually that's a hamstring. I, sh I should probably, I didn't get my medical degree. <laughs> we'll have Alex Flanagan on the case. Brees over the middle, Dave Thomas. Picks up 11 for the 44. Saints have two timeouts in the two-minute warning. As the training staff checks on Reggie Bush. Bush yeah. has been bumped. Now, the way, they're, the way they're holding that leg there, Matt, that's you know, cramp. Trying to stretch him out a that would bit. Be a, that would be a good thing for him. Those hamstrings at the end of the season are really tough. Should note that Jonathan Goodwin is back in at center, too, for New Orleans. He got nicked up earlier. Breeze with time over the middle. Another first down. Robert Meacham on the catch. Gain of 15. That takes us to the two-minute warning. The Dallas Cowboys jumped out to a 14-0 lead. Saints trying to claw back. Welcome to Thursday Night Football Special Edition in New Orleans. Romo, Miles, Austin. Touchdown, Cowboys. Winton in motion. Barber. Touchdown, Cowboy. Breeze with time. Colston. Well, you know, you feel the anticipation in this crowd. Bob Popple along with Matt Millen, Alex Flanagan. Two-minute warning. Cowboys jumped out to a 14-0 lead. Scored touchdowns on their first two possessions. Saints got a field goal on their last possession. This drive started at their own nine. They've got a first and ten with two timeouts remaining at the 41 of Dallas. Breeze, Henderson intercepted by Jenkins. That one is all on Breeze. He underthrew him. Didn't have enough air under it. He had him down the left sideline if he leads him. He gets him in a position he wants. Watch, he's going to get right up there. Right, he's on the top side, but the ball is underthrown. And it's an interception. Jenkins' fifth pick of the year, 11th thrown by Breeze. Breeze knows it. But you know what I like in today's game? With the officiating, the officials are letting him play. And I love, I love the fact in a big game, they let them play. 
The fewest points scored by the Saints in the first half this year. Six here in the Dome against Carolina on November the 8th. They trailed 17-6 at the half. And let's face it, the Cowboys have much more offense than Carolina. Barber on a first and ten. Takes it out to the 10 yard line. And run out of bounds after a gain of six. Well, coming up next is the Sprint Halftime Show. Rich, Marshall, Dion, Mooch, they're all here in New Orleans. First half highlights and the storm impact on the Sunday schedule. Good to see the guys here in the building. I saw Marshall took Steve out for a for a beignet out there. Down in New Orleans, took a little walk around the city. And Marshall Falk. Yeah. What a fantastic running back he was. Delayed draw, Barber. Near the first down marker, Tracy Porter on the tackle. Gain of three, looks like he has enough. You know, one of the things that we talked about when we visited with the guys on the set during the pregame show is, uh, you know, the Cowboys have to run the ball, control the clock, which is, you know, they have the ball for 16 minutes so far. But we talked about their need to make big plays, big plays. as well. They've got to take their shots, and they got right on top early with the Miles Austin 49-yard touchdown catch. Well, you know, that's one of the things Steve Mariucci was talking about right at the beginning. They had to start fast, which they were able to do. And then Marshall and Dion were talking about how they had to be able to control the ball and eat up the clock, and, and they've been able to do that. So if you look at a recipe for what this Dallas Cowboy team had to do in the first half, or really for this game, they've accomplished that to this point. From the 15, first and 10. Cowboys with that one timeout remaining. Takes the handoff, trying to find Witten, Roman Harper, all over. Good coverage. Nice coverage and a lot of different looks, okay? And so when you start talking about looks and scheme, you start talking about their defensive coordinator, Greg Williams. Greg Williams has really done a fantastic job. In fact, I saw something on tape the other day I've never seen before. Like, I got so excited about it, I, I called Coach Madden and explained it. It was... They doubled three guys, and I've never seen that done before. And I'm sure the rest of the league will copy it. Second and ten, they'll give it to Barber again. Barber fights to the 22-yard line. Scott Fujita on the tackle. Well, the Cowboys are rolling against the undefeated Saints here in the first half. Back in New Orleans, the Dallas Cowboys in a huge game for them, lead the Saints 14 to three. And Drew Brees and the Saints not able to get things going. That's not my happened. fault to Devery Henderson yeah. as he underthrew him. And it was picked off by Jenkins. He knew he had him. Saints use their final timeout, third and three for Dallas. Slant to the feet of Austin in to Blake. Got a buck 30. And Drew Brees, you're about to get the ball back. If they can put any points on the board, even three, that's a win. Now the Saints, the last time they were held to three or fewer points and a half was when they played in the Alamo Dome in 2005 against the Lions. And that's remember a that? whole, yeah, I do remember that. And that's a whole different team than this is right here. With Reggie Bush out of the game, Lance Moore to return the punt. Moore gets plastered by Orlando Scandrick right at the 30-yard line after a 49-yard punt. Watch Scandrick times it up beautifully. Just hesitates right at the end, allows Moore to be able to make the catch, and then hits him. Let's take a look at Drew Brees so far in this ball game. 11 of 18, 120 yards, and the one interception on the last drive. Now he's got to go 70 yards in 122. 
Remember the Cowboys will get the ball to start the third. Saints won the coin toss. Flag in the play as Thomas makes the catch for a one yard gain. Skandrick and James on the tackle. Holding offense number 73. Ten yard penalty. First down. That's Jerry Evans the right guard. Working inside on G. Ratliff. You can see him right here at number 73. Jerry Evans out of Bloomsburg. And Jay Ratliff just went right by him. And so <laughs> I don't know if that was necessarily a hold as much as I'd call it probably just tearing his shirt off. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Jay's a physical guy. You got to stop him somehow. You don't want your quarterback to get destroyed. Breeze throws it underneath to Meacham. The Cowboys try to steal the ball from him. Meacham protects it. At the 27, gain of seven, one minute to go. Saints are out of timeouts. You gotta hurry it up. Sets up this second down. Second and 13. Need to get to the 40. Breeze hit by Ware, fumbles the football, and the Cowboys have it. Spencer recovered it after Ware gets his 10th sack. And we talked about the matchup between he and Bushrod and how excited the Cowboys were to be able to get that. He just goes off that left side. It's not even close. Goes with speed, gets to the top side, hip to hip, you win. You see the nice dip at the end? That's good stuff. Fifth loss fumble for Breeze, so he's turned it over on back-to-back -back possessions. Wade Phillips pumped up, and now Dallas, who will get the ball to start the third, has 45 seconds to go, trying to build upon their 14-3 lead. With the one timeout. Romo looking for Austin. Ran out of room as Romo took a hit from Will Smith. You know, that last play, Matt, also you have to credit the Cowboys' coverage because Breeze was looking, 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 trying to step up, and then Ware worked his way to the quarterback, but don't discount the work by the secondary, too, in the coverage. Yeah, always, but, you know, the part that I loved about that with DeMarcus Ware was right at the end how he dipped. He dipped and got back underneath, and then he was able to finish, and that's how you finish a sack. And here it'd be about a 42-yard field goal. Second and ten for the Cowboys. Romo with a screen. Barber with blockers. The battering ram inside the 15. He's got a first down. And Vilma took a shot. Malcolm Jenkins came in along with Vilma to make the tackle. And Marion Barber brings it. Now take a look at it. I said yesterday he's like a billy goat. Yeah, he did. And he not a front. Like I said, he hit he hit Vilma right square in the face. So he put his put his pads down. Jonathan's coming. And then the force that's involved in that, is, I mean, force is mass times acceleration. And you get two guys, 225 to 35 pounds, and they're running as fast as they are. The ensuing crash is pretty violent. Good stuff. All set up by the Drew Brees fumble. So the undefeated Saints, 13 0, trying to join the Indianapolis Colts, who you saw here on Thursday night on NFL Network, become the fourth team to get to 14 0. Now the Saints in a lot of trouble. The Cowboys in a big spot right here, up 14 3. The play fake. Austin tripped up after a gain of two. That's a nice job by McKenzie. He does trip him up. Cowboys will use their last timeout. 17 seconds. Bob, the biggest thing right here, yeah, Bob, the biggest thing right here in this game to this, to this point is the fact that the Dallas Cowboys have been able to finish off drives. They said that was one of their problems. Speaking with Jason Garrett, you know, that was one of the things he said. He said, is there one thing that we can just fix? No, it's more than that. And basically, it's fundamental. And then he said, we have to be able to get six points at the end. 
Here's another situation. The other two times they were down, they were able to get 14 points. This is a monster. What else they've been able to do is win the battle of special teams, forcing touchbacks, good punt coverage by McBride, good punts by McBride with a lot of height, and good punt coverage to keep field position in their favor. You know, that's what Deion Sanders was talking about in our pregame show, the special teams part of this Dallas Cowboy team. And you're right, they are winning the special teams battle. Saints who have been perfect to this point, an imperfect first half. Cowboys up 14-3 looking for more. Romo avoids pressure, can't find Austin as he got tripped up with 12 seconds to go in the half. Might have been his own man. You've got 12 seconds, you have enough time. It was Doug Free, the right tackle. But Free. Free does trip him up, but with 12 seconds, you actually could get, yeah, you'll easily get this down. If you if you get a first down inside that three yard line, a four yard line, you could still run another play if you wanted to. Zilma remains on the sideline. Marvin Mitchell in at middle linebacker. Throw to the end zone is what they'll do here. Third and eight. Romo can't find Creighton. There's a flag on the play. And a personal foul, a face mask, I believe, against Flozell Adams. He picked a bad day to start getting penalties. Of course, he's been leading the league, I think, in penalties, isn't he? He had 10 going into this. I think Vernon, personal foul, Vernon Davis, Davis, I think, face mask. Offense number 76. 15 yard penalty, third down. Yeah, well, he tied Vernon Davis on the first penalty, right. and now he just went ahead of him. It's not a lead you want. Yeah, Take exactly. Watch here, big number. 76 right there, and he gets his hands up. I don't see that one. Uh, and then he's got him on the ground. He had him again. Then when Will Smith was on the ground, he grabbed his face mask again. I don't know if he grabbed his face mask, but he got a big old body on him. And, and that's what a big old body should do. Now, this could be huge because Nick Falk has missed nine field goals this season, the most in the NFL. It's going to be a 44-yarder. And seven of those nine have been between 40 and 49 yards. This is from 44. Folks, kick is pure. And the Cowboys convert the breeze fumble to three points. 17-3 Cowboys, four seconds to go in the half. Cowboys have done everything right in this first half. Nick Folk knew it was good from the moment it left his foot. Now you think it meant something to him? You better believe it. He was fired up for that one. Kicked it right down the middle. And that had been his problem range between 40 and 49 yards. And the Cowboys get tack on points at the end of the half, Matt. They get the ball to start the third. They lead it 17-3. Trying to pull off a huge upset here in the Superdome. As the Saints at 13-0. Not only trying to get to 14 0, but hold off Minnesota for the number one seed in the NFC. Now, if you're a Saint fan, are they capable of coming back down by 14? Absolutely. And everybody in this stadium knows that, as does that Dallas Cowboy team. It's a live ball on the squib, mishandled, and then finally covered up by the Saints. At the 35 yard line with two seconds remaining in the half. Well, Drew Brees has turned it over on back to back possessions. Once they were driving, under through Henderson, picked off by Jenkins. And then after the Saints got a stop, and the Cowboys punted the ball away. He was sacked by Ware. And recovered by Anthony Spencer that set up the three. Saints will just take a knee. Upset in the making at the end of the first half. Cowboys lead the undefeated Saints 17-3 after the break. It's time for Rich Marshall, Dion, and Mooch on the Sprint Halftime Show. And we welcome you to Thursday Night Football Special Edition from the Superdome in New Orleans. In order for us to be where we want to be, we have to play teams like this. Romo, Miles, Austin, touchdown Cowboys. For us to get where we want to get to in the playoffs, 
We have to win this game. Witten in motion. Touchdown, Cowboys. We're trying to keep the streak alive, so we both have a lot to play for. Breeze, Henderson, intercepted. Breeze hit by Ware, fumbles the football, and the Cowboys have it. Back in New Orleans, we take a look at the game summary at the half. Cowboys lead at 17-3. Romo with a touchdown pass. 10 of 18, 169 yards. Barber has a rushing touchdown. Drew Brees has turned it over twice with an interception and a fumble. We welcome you back to our Thursday night football booth, the special edition. Bob Popple along with Matt Millen. Saints undefeated, looking for perfection, trying to hold on to that number one seed. Cowboys need a win. Dallas got the fast start. They've done things well, but why have they been able to hold the Saints to just three points? I, I think they've been playing fantastic defense. I think that uh, you get the pass rush off the side. Remember, said you have to knock the guy down. They've been able to get some of that. And then I think the other part is Drew Brees, he, he, he was flawed. On the, down the left sideline, he threw the pick. He had Devery Henderson for a score, wasn't able to get the ball out there. And that kind of changed their fortune on that pick. They got down. They're down 14 points right now. Is it insurmountable? No, not at all. Cowboys will get the ball, though, to start the third. And they came out very aggressive. Looked like they had a lot of confidence early. And that 49-yard touchdown pass to Miles Austin on the first possession huge for the Cowboys DeMarcus Ware who suffered a neck strain last week did not start but he's been in a pass rushing situations he has a sack and a forced fumble Morstead to kick off for the Saints Felix Jones back deep Jones will run it out from five yards deep Felix Jones out to the 25-yard line. Couple injuries to check on. Let's set it down to the sideline and Alex Flanagan. Hey, Bob, you guys talking about Dallas's defense. They've really been good on third downs. Sean Payton pointing that out at the half, saying that the Saints are 0 for 4 when it comes to converting on third downs. He says that they've had some manageable downs and distances, but they just haven't been able to stay on the field long enough. We knew that that would be a big issue coming into this game. The time of possession battle was going to be key. Few injury updates. Reggie Bush should be playing. He's okay. Jonathan Vilma, okay. Randall Gay, though, you guys, in the secondary, he is questionable. Bob. All right, Alex, and the Saints have had all kinds of secondary issues as far as injury. Vilma back in the ball game at middle linebacker. Romo on the play fake. Plenty of time. As Austin, he drops it coming back to the ball. Well, Austin did it right to come back to the ball. The only, only bad thing is he forgot to catch it. But the play actually, you know, just, just run across, and now he knows. He's got to help his quarterback, so you always come back. And that's a, that's a good Joyzy guy right there. Yeah, from Garfield, New Jersey. Yeah. Same hometown as Wayne Corbett. Miles Austin. Corbett about, played for the Jets. About exit 145 is <laughs> off the parkway. Played his college ball at Monmouth. Jones on second down. Skips out to the 31. Vilma tackles him after a game of five. You know, this Dallas Cowboy running game. They've got a pretty eclectic group back there. You have the speed right there with Jones. And then you have Marion Barber. You got the toughness, and he runs, and he has good vision. But the guy who I really like is Tashard Choice. Whenever that guy's in the game, something big happens. Choice started Georgia Tech. I remember talking with him in college, and his dream was to play for the Cowboys. Between five and eight yards on third downs, the Cowboys are two for four. Romo back across the field. Miles Austin first down. Well, that was all. They were going to go dash, which I like this play. And you're going to see the, the important thing for this is you have to get the edge block, which is to shard choice. Watch choice here. He's going to come up and he's going to do that and he's going to get the edge secured. OK, now you can set your feet. He sees it, comes back, uses his own feet and then is able to find the first down. Tony Romo told us yesterday, you know, my legs are going to be a key factor in some of this as well, based on their coverages and creating plays and keeping them alive. Huge conversion for the Cowboys on this first possession of the third. Jones into Saints territory and pinballs his way for nearly 10, call it nine and a half. Nicely done outside. 
And they rotate these running backs through so they keep them fresh. All three of them catch the ball pretty well. Jones eight carries for 45 yards. Barber 10 carries for 44. This is such an important drive. You know, the Cowboys for both teams. Yeah, the Saints not getting off the field on a third and five. Dallas now with a second and short in Saints territory, trying to build on a 17-3 lead. Barber tripped up in the hole, but he has a first down. They to know the 43. Yeah, they know when, when they need a tough yard, they like to run behind Big Leonard Davis, number 70 on the inside. And that's a that's a good big man who clears a lot of area. He's best on the inside. He's kind of a road grader type. Every now and then you'll see him pull into the outside. That's not his real strength, but he can do it. But on the inside, that's a big, powerful man. He's gone to the pro ball twice since coming to Dallas in 2007. Romo to the sideline, and it's a good catch made by Kevin Ogletree. A rookie free agent out of Virginia. Only his fifth catch of the season, gain of 17. Hey, watch Ogletree. This is a great route. This is a one-on-one. -on -one. Ogletree down. Now watch the concentration and the feet. One down, two down. Just simply outstanding. Secures the catch. Now watch the route. Get to the top. See how he bends him at the top of that route. Gets his defender off Jenkins and is able to come down with the catch. Jones on the toss. Picks up about three on the play. Jonathan Vilma on the tackle. You know, one of the things that's been a constant tonight, the Cowboys offensively have kept the Saints defense totally off balance. Yeah, and, and, and their offense on the sideline. And Jason Garrett's done a nice job of throwing the ball when they think run and running the ball when they think throw. Phillips and Phillips able to pick up 10 and another first down for the Cowboys. This is the best that I've seen Tony Romo play. I mean, this is he's been at a pretty good level uh, this latter part of this season. But Tony Romo is in control right now. He's, they're using play action to their advantage. They're running the football effectively. And then he uses his feet to buy the time that he needs to be able to make the first down throw. With Martellus Bennett out. Phillips playing more his third catch that was his longest here in his rookie season Barber tripped up as he got to the 10 now it's important to note this the Dallas Cowboys are hitting the belly of this New Orleans defense and that's where this New Orleans defense has struggled in the interior run when they when teams have had success running the football at them they've gone inside and with the absence of Cedric Ellis it's really magnified and Kendrick Clancy who was a starter at the beginning of the year placed on injured reserve as well second and five Romo Whitten just short of the first down Tackle just short of the five yard line. It's a gain of four. Scott Fujita on the tackle. Yeah, this is a fake double screen delay. Why delay? Now, the why is Witt. And you see, they faked it to the top side, then to the left, to the bottom side, and then he just comes to the middle. That's a good job defending it. Cowboys one for one on their third and one. Watch the big man inside. Barber has the first down as he takes on Darren Sharper, and they roll down to the two. Gain of four, first and goal, Cowboys. Well, they know where Leonard Davis is, and they're just going to go. just get behind big number 70 and power it. He does a really nice job along with Doug Free. Doug Free does a good job and gets that push. But Leonard Davis, he he can clear some space. 
Cowboys are doing something that no team has done so far this year. They've come into New Orleans where the Saints are 6-0 and, and they are dominating. Right Romo open. with time. Austin out of bounds. That's on Romo. He had it. He had it early. It was there wide open and Romo couldn't locate him with his eyes. And then Tracy Porter made sure that he could not get his feet down because, as you know, there's no force out of it. Exactly right. And watch, he beat the top side right now. Throw the ball. It's too late. And that's well done by Porter. Like you said, the rule was changed just a couple years ago that both feet have to come down in bounds. And it didn't matter. There's no more force out. If the defender hits him, it doesn't matter. His feet have to come down. Second and goal, Marion Barber. Chased by Vilma. Marion Barber sheds him for a touchdown. His second of the ball game. And the Cowboys lead by 20 with an extra point pending. Take a good listen. That's all you have to hear. They're shocked right now. But this is all Marion Barber. It went from the inside where it was supposed to go. He used his vision and then his speed and is able to capture the corner and the touchdown. Barber six rushing touchdown. Fault for the extra point. And he knocks it through. So on the opening drive of the third quarter, the Cowboys picked up where they left off. Jerry Jones loves it. Cowboys up 24-3. Thursday Night Football Special Edition is brought to you by Southwest Airlines. Go to southwest.com, grab your bag, it's on. And by Jared, the Galleria of Jewelry, with five times the selection of ordinary jewelry stores. Somber mood on Bourbon Street right now because the Cowboys just marched downfield to start the third quarter as we look at the scoring drive. Seven rushing plays, six passing plays. All the objectives that the Cowboys laid out to win the game were accomplished. They had balance with the running and passing game, and then they finished with the Marion Barber touchdown run. That's as good as you can be. You know, I, I was fortunate to play with some great coaches, and two of them, Joe Paterno at Penn State and Joe Gibbs in Washington, always put a high priority on that opening drive of the third quarter, both offensively and defensively. Roby to run it out and ahead of speed. Roby could go. Roby run out by Allen Ball. Maybe that's the spark that the Saints need. Down big against the Cowboys in the third. Now the Dallas Cowboys taking it to the undefeated New Orleans Saints here in the third quarter. Well, you one thing about the Saints, even though they're down 21, ties their largest deficit of the season. At Miami, they were down 21 on October the 25th. The only key component to that was it was 21 in the first half. Got a late score at the end of the half to turn that game around. First time they'll start in Cowboys territory. Breeze late to the middle, and it's dropped by Devery Henderson. Henderson did everything right as Breeze was under pressure. He threw it where Henderson could come back. He just got to make the catch. Remember earlier we saw Drew Breeze saying to Devery Henderson, hey, sorry, that one's on me. Well, Henderson has to go back right now and say the exact same thing to Breeze. Right in his hands and through. But he got the crowd back into it after that 57-yard kickoff return by Roby. They'll run it on second down. And a yard. And that is it for Mike Bell. Now Drew Brees has turned it over twice. Picked off by Mike Jenkins. Down 14-3. Then late in the half, DeMarcus Ware with the sack. Anthony Spence with the recovery. Cowboys got three to go to the locker room up 17-3. Saints looking for their first third down conversion. Two of the four have been nine or more yards. They had a third and 20 and a third and nine they failed on. 
Under pressure. Sacked by Spencer. There's the other one we were talking about. And there's a flag on the play. Hands in the face. Defense number three. sitting at the 30-yard line. Little hanky-panky going on out there. That's not good. The Stinchcomb gets beat by Spencer, and it's a huge play for the Dallas Cowboys. And then Skandrick, number 32C, gets hands up in the face. That's well officiated. It's on Meacham. And this is what it took away. The nice sack by Spencer. So instead, it's a first down for the Saints. He's going to get sacked again by Spencer. That's a second sack for Spencer, and the second time nobody blocked him. Loss of eight. Remember Spencer earlier, yeah, remember earlier, they went with a uh, play action, and the tailback didn't pick him up. This time, there's nobody there. This just numbers, and Spencer comes clean. Well, the Cowboys are doing a great job. Breeze had only been sacked 15 times coming into this game in 13 games. He's been sacked three times already. That's Throws it at the feet of Pierre Thomas. That is a great job by DeMarcus Ware. They wanted to set up a screen, but Ware smelled it just beautifully. Just watch. He stops. He sees something's going on. He sees Pierre Thomas. Now he just jumps it. Brooking also gets back out there, but DeMarcus Ware is the one who had the instinct first. But well, we said on the front end that DeMarcus Ware had to have a big game, and, and same with Spencer, and both of them have responded. Remember we said, you have to knock the quarterback down. They've done that today. Third and 18. Breeze. Beautiful play by Jenkins, who's having a great night on Henderson. And even there, they go with a max zone, but they but they get pressure up inside. Now, the advantage Jenkins has as a defender, he's keeping everything in front of him, and he keeps his eyes back on the quarterback. So when the ball is thrown, you can make your break. Well played, and it sets up the fourth down. You know, earlier this year, although the Jets came in and lost here, they played probably the best defensive game in this building. It's right. just that Mark Sanchez turned it over a bunch of times. Well, the Cowboys have outdone them. They have been fantastic. Morstead sets it high. Creighton will let it bounce, and the Saints can't cover it inside the five. So a 39-yard punt. Cowboys up by 21. Reggie Bush trying to loosen up, get back in the football game. He left the game in the first half with a leg injury. And right now, the Dallas Cowboys dominating the New Orleans Saints, the undefeated New Orleans Saints, trying to become just the fourth team in NFL history to start a season 14 0. But it's all Cowboys right now. Felix Jones flag on the play as he spins ahead to the 30 gain of 10 but it's coming back offense number 68 half the distance to the goal first down penalty on Doug free the right tackle looking for the perfect holiday gift for your favorite football fan we'll give him NFL.com's game rewind we live every game of the 2009 season in HD quality video Holiday offers only at NFL.com game rewind. There have been some wild finishes in the NFL this season. It's been a great season, back, hasn't it? Yeah. Then a lot Up more to down. come. Hey, a Cowboy victory tonight. Forget about wild card. Playing Philadelphia the last week of the season, they might have a chance to win the NFC East. Things can change in the last three weeks. Romo to Phillips. Tackle at the 18 after a gain of eight. Vilma on the tackle. 
Take a look at the Cowboys remaining schedule. After tonight, they've got two division games left. They'll take on the Redskins in Washington and return home for the Eagles. See that one right there? That Redskin game? I don't care what the records are. They always play close games. We played in a few of those. Second and 12 for Romo. Miles Austin, Miles Austin with a first down. That is a outstanding job of Austin of knowing where the sticks are and getting that first down. It's just a zone. I mean, it has to happen first with protection up front. They're just rushing four. It's five on four. They win that battle. And then Austin, with his speed, wins the other battle and gets the first. Six catches for 107 yards and a touchdown. Wade Phillips said, hey, we were so smart with Miles Austin out of Ross, we didn't even play him the first few weeks of the season. <laughs> but he was battling some injuries during training camp. Jones on oh, the nice toss. hit. Hit at the 33, gain of three. Yeah, Darren Sharper. It's Harper and Sharper back there, your two safeties. Darren Sharper, we talked about on the front end, just what he brings to this defense. Does he have the same speed and range that he did 13 years ago? No, he doesn't. But he makes up with it with his leadership. He's very heady, sees the whole field, anticipates very well, and most importantly, he's solidified that back seven. And he said this is the hardest working team he's ever been on. Spoke with Ronnie Lott earlier in the year. He said Ronnie Lott told him, you're near the end of your career. Go out and have fun. Play like a rookie. Right now they need somebody in this defense to make a play down 21. Blitz on. Witten with the catch to the 36. And he gets tackled immediately by Malcolm Jenkins and Jonathan Vilma after a gain of three. Now is the time when it becomes a battle of the wits. And so now it's Tony Romo versus this defense and Greg Williams. And then the game is on. What do you call? What do you see? What do you show defensively? Offensively, how patient can I be? There's Jason Garrett, who's the play caller for the Cowboys. With three of five between five and eight yards on third down attempts. Romo under pressure, avoids the sack, and has the first down. Gain of six for Tony Romo. And there is the wild card right at the end of it. And it's the legs of Tony Romo. And the quick decision to see that you're getting pressure, let me find the green. And this is what I mean by finding green. He comes back, here comes the pressure. He knows he's got problems, just jumps up inside. There's no, there's, you run where they're not. And that's exactly what he does and goes head first to secure the first down. Romo dropped by Witt. He was looking for Creighton running across. Yeah, and he had the wherewithal to be able to check it down and avoid a sack. Now, I think, I think, I think Tony Romo is playing one heck of a game. He is playing lights out right now. And keep in mind, you still have 17 minutes left to go, but if he continues, I mean, he's, and he's done this for the last month or so. He's been playing really, really well. And Drew Brees plastered to that bench. Cowboys have had the ball for 27 minutes and 59 seconds. Yet another objective accomplished to this point. Draw for Barber, hit in the backfield by Roman Harper, who came on a safety blitz. No gain on the play. I'll tell you what it looks like. It looks like the Dallas Cowboys are playing like they really need to win the game. They're playing mistake free. They're, they're playing assignment football. By that I mean everybody's getting who they have to get. And then they're doing what they said their recipe had to be. As you look at the time of possession, same thing. They're keeping that New Orleans offense on the sideline. They have been under so much heat in their town over the last two weeks with the two losses. Be a great chance to quiet some people. Romo again under pressure. Witten tucks down at midfield, and he's short of the first down after a gain 
of nine. So the Cowboys will punt the football away, approaching one minute to go in the third. The undefeated Saints, 13-0, so dominant, are being dominated by the Dallas Cowboys. Lance Moore back deep for New Orleans. McBriar with another good high punt. Moore watches it bounce into the end zone for a touchback. 49-yard punt, 29-yard net. Cowboys in front here in the third. This telecast is copyrighted by the NFL for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this telecast or of any pictures, descriptions, or accounts of the game without the NFL's consent is prohibited. Aerial Cam is being presented by Southwest Airlines. A look at the Superdome in New Orleans. Town all fired up. The building was rocking early, but Reggie Bush trying to stretch out that right leg. And heads are down right now for the Saints as they're down 24 to 3. No Jeremy Shockey with his turf toe injury. Drew Brees has turned it over twice here in the ballgame. Dumps it underneath Devery Henderson tripped up nicely by Ken Hamlin after a gain of nine. You know sometimes you get beat physically and then sometimes you just get beat mentally. And on this last Spencer sack you're going to see number 93 in the top. They bring the center to the left side and you've got to slide this out. You've got to be able to slide out and go big on big because the center is to your side. If that doesn't happen. It's it's a it's a free shot and it's a sack. Final seconds of the third. Breeze. Meacham. First down to the 40. So the third ends with an 11-yard pickup. But the Saints are down miles. Perfection has been imperfect tonight. Cowboys in front through three. Saints owner Tom Benson sort of stunned like everybody that the Saints have just three points on the board through three quarters of play took over control of the ball club in May of 1985 Matt you got a chance to know him oh that's that's chairman of the finance committee in the league very very well respected in that owner's room and right now he wants to see his his Saints put some points on the board Mike Jenkins out of the ball game Scandrick in as Thomas <laughs> makes the catch and takes it into Dallas territory gain of 12. Okay so here's what you got you're down by 21. You're having a phenomenal year. You're unbeaten things on the line. What do you do? You go back to what got you. So you spread the field and you put the ball in the hands of your MVP candidate, Drew Brees. Brees, post, nearly intercepted, deflected away from Thomas. Bobby Carpenter, and at linebacker, was running with Thomas. This is, this is a really, really tight window that he's trying to get. You're going to watch Carpenter 54. He's going to run with Thomas. Look at this tight window. Oh boy, I don't, and that might only be a six inch window, but he took the shot. Well defended by Carpenter. Thomas running a route that Jeremy Shockey would normally run. Well, with coverage like that, it wouldn't matter who's doing it. Breeze with time. Caught. On the sideline by Colston, he's got a first down after a gain of 16. And you see Skandrick at the end of that thing, how he just slapped his hands together. Now this is another tiny window. You put the ball low and outside where only he can throw it, or where he can catch it rather. And watch where this ball goes. And look at this tiny little window right on the outside. You see that? Skandrick has outstanding coverage, but the ball is just perfectly thrown. His coverage might have been too good. Yeah, how about had his arm. <laughs> From the 32. Breeze takes the check down to Pierre Thomas. Thomas takes it to the 26 yard line. Now and can, a gain of six. You can sense some urgency right now with New Orleans Saints. You, you can start to feel it. And they're going, they're, like I said, they're making you defend the whole field by spreading everybody out. And they're putting it right on Drew Brees. And that's where it should go. Breeze. Thomas tripped up by Carpenter inside the 10. Gain of 18. First and goal Saints. 
Dave Thomas of those Patriots. He comes down and he's just going to run across away. There's two ways that you can use your speed. One is vertically just to run past the guy, and the second way is to run across the formation and run away from him that way. Both of those routes require time. Dave Thomas with a career high seven catches. Bell to the one. Gain of seven. You know, as they quicken this pace up and they're moving and they're getting the ball and uh, the call in fast, it forces you defensively to be limited with what you can call both in personnel and call. Bell again. Bell's got the touchdown. That's what Tom Benson was looking for, and that's what they gave him. And that was vintage Drew Brees. Managed the pocket well, stepped up, found the open receiver, threw into tight windows, and inevitably, it's six points, courtesy of Bell's legs. Just broke the plane of the goal line. As Skander tried to bring him down. Nine plays, 80 yards. And Hartley with the extra point. So with 12.35 to go, Mike Bell gets the touchdown. Saints down by 14. Comeback coming. Here we go. Thursday Night Football Special Edition is brought to you by Sprint, official wireless service sponsor of the NFL. On a beautiful night in New Orleans. Tony Romo, who's thrown for 245 yards and a touchdown. Watch Mike Bell run it in. Saints finally get a touchdown, down by 14 here in the fourth. Well, the fourth quarter is where the Saints have been downright unsaintly, incorrigible even. They've been really on the plus side of the turnovers. Hartley will drive it to Felix Jones. Low kick. Jones picks his way to the 20. Jones across the 30. A great return out to the 40-yard line. 41-yard return. Cowboys back on offense. Up 14. Thursday Night Football Special Edition is brought to you by Miller Lite. Triple hops brewed for the great Pilsner taste. Taste greatness. And by Sears. More values, more Christmas. That's life well spent. Sears. Back in New Orleans, the Saints trailing the Cowboys here in the fourth quarter. Dallas will start first and 10 at their own 40. And here comes the crowd. But the Saints need the defense to come alive. Ogletree. Get six down to Alex Flanagan. Hey, you guys, the defense coming alive a little bit there. Listen, we're seeing the first real signs of life so far down on the Saints sideline. The crowd kind of getting fired up. They know, as you guys said, that they own the fourth quarter. The Saints outscored their opponents 125 points to 34 points so far in the season. So they can still do it. Bob and Matt, back to you guys. Well, a true breeze awaits his turn. Cowboys get called 12 men, 12 in, the men in the huddle. Yeah. And so they take that seven yard gain and it'll take away five. And if, let me get my shoes off here. Yeah, that's two. <laughs> well, one thing Tony Romo said is we need to stay out of these second and tens and third and eights, which they've done a very good job so far tonight. Saints have done a great job turning opponents over. Especially in the fourth quarter. The Saints have turned it over twice. The Cowboys have not. Jones, the tailback. Runs out of one tackle. Takes it out to the 46. So he gets the penalty yard. It's back. And now New Orleans will use a timeout. Cowboys by 14. 
Kick off New Year's Eve with the Inside Bowl on NFL Network. The Iowa State Cyclones take on the Minnesota Golden Gophers. Inside Bowl live from Arizona. New Year's Eve, 6th Eastern, on only on NFL Network. Mike Mayock will start getting you ready for the draft. But here, a big third down for the Cowboys. For that timeout to take for New Orleans to mean anything, they have to stop him on this third down. Romo, Roy Williams dropped it. Porter might have knocked it out. And so they roll the dice and they call the timeout to save the clock. And because they get this stop on third down, and that is all on Roy Williams. You've got to catch that ball. Romo put it in the perfect spot. So the Cowboys will punt the ball away. McBriar has been very effective with his hang time. Short punt. Bounds at the 20 and takes a bad roll for the Cowboys. Troy so down it at the 30. Only a 25-yard punt. Drew Brees back on the field. The defense did their job. It's the offense's turn. Bob Papa, Matt Millen, Alex Flanagan back in New Orleans. Cowboys lead it by 14 here in the fourth quarter. The Saints trying to race a 21-point deficit here in the second half. They got a touchdown on their last possession. After a three and out, have the ball back at their own 30. Meacham in motion. Screen. Pierre Thomas gets a block across midfield. Thomas to the Dallas 41. Spencer on the tackle, gain of 28. Great call. Use, you use the defense's aggressiveness against them. And so you invite the rush in. And Breeze holds it just perfectly. And then it's well blocked. Jerry Evans does a nice job. And it frees him into the secondary. Just like that, the Saints are in Dallas territory. Breeze wide open, Dave Thomas. Gets tripped up at the Dallas 29, a gain of 12. That was the feet of Drew Breeze, wasn't it? Matt? That's what we call managing the pocket. And he just has a great feel. And he's sitting inside, and Ware is bearing down on him. And you just have a sense. Now, he beats Bushrod like a drum, and then he just buys time by dropping a little bit of depth and then making the throw. And it's just, Steve Young calls that artistry. I have to agree with him. Raised to the outside, Meacham, short gain on the play, gain of Two. Well, three wins of the season after trailing by 10 or more points in the second half. The NFL record is four by the 1984 Patriots. And you know what they've gone through, Matt, earlier this year against Miami and Washington. You know, you build that up. It steeled them is what it's done. Yeah, it, and, it, and, and so this is not a situation that's too big for them. They've been there before. Slides down at the 17, gain of nine, first down Saints. You know, I was talking to Troy Aikman, and I was, we were talking about Drew Brees, and we were saying about how well he manages the pocket, and I mentioned to him about how sometimes it's like you quarterbacks have a sense or eyes in the back of your head, and this is what it is right here. It's just a feel. There's a clock in your brain, and then at one point, you just make a quick decision and get the yardage. Jason Hatcher couldn't get him to the ground. Late. Ooh. Knocked away by Terrence Newman. Intended for Henderson. Could have been a pick six. Yeah, because this time, Drew Brees was late on that throw. And it allowed Newman to be able to see it. Look at his eyes back inside. He anticipates it. That could have been, that could have been a pick going the other way. Watch Brees. It's late. He had him earlier, but he didn't get his, his head whipped around fast enough. And Newman did. 
spreading the field. Second and ten. Holston near a first down marker. He's got it. Gain of ten. First and goal, Saints. Now let's contrast. On the last throw, late. On this one, great anticipation. Puts it right where the ball has to be in that tiny little window, but it comes out fast. Reeves, 22 of 34, 253 yards, and one interception. Hey, you're at home right now. Sit back and enjoy this. This is what NFL football is all about. Quick count, Lance Moore needs a block. Touchdown, Saints. Great call. Great call. He sees the coverage. You get your receivers blocking. Meacham delivers. Moore delivers. Breeze delivers. Six points. And the game is on. Important extra point for Hartman. And it's now a one touchdown game. 14 unanswered for the Saints. Lance Moore with his second touchdown. Cowboys by seven. Now the Dallas Cowboys 21 point lead is down to seven. Watch this. You're going to watch Skandrick 32 and, and, and Newman on the outside. And they know they have problems. Look, it's three on two. They need another defender. You just make the blocks and then Moore just runs right through. It's a matter of numbers. It always comes down to numbers. You're losing from the start three to two. How does that happen from a defensive standpoint? It's just a quick because the quick pace of the offense and then they come out with that formation and some all it takes is one guy to get messed up with where to line up and you lose the number battle and it's six points. Morstead with the kick sends Felix Jones seven yards deep and he'll take a knee with eight minutes to go. The Cowboys once 21 point lead is down to seven. They got a three and out from their defense the last time the Saints did. Can they do it again? And for the Dallas Cowboys, perfect first half, great drive to start the third. Pressure now back in their offense. Man, this is, you know what? This is what you want. If you're Tony Romo or if you're this New Orleans Saint defense, this is what. This is this is what makes a champion. This is what makes a playoff team. Now perform. Well, with a throw on first down, has an escape hatch, gets five, hit by Porter and Fujita. Well, I'll tell you, I'm like to be some Tony Romo today. He's doing some really good stuff. And the thing that you don't see is his decision making. We're not privy to what goes on in his noodle, but you can see evidence of it. He's protecting the ball. He's not going to take a chance, and he's using all of his skills, which of course includes his running ability. Romo also has three carries for 22 yards. Felix Jones, he'll lose to Roman Harper from a safety spot. Yeah, he dropped down from the safety. They brought that safety all the way down, and he just, he's unaccounted for. It. And so, what we said earlier about the Saints, put it on Bree's shoulders. And so now, the Cowboys do the same thing. You put this on Tony Romo's shoulders. And let's see if he responds. Austin to the top of the screen. Romo gets set. Has to burn a timeout. First timeout for the Cowboys. All 
All right, so Dallas facing a big third down here, Matt. We're almost talking with Jason Garrett. You know that they love Jason Witten in these spots. Miles Austin's been, you know, the deep threat playmaker. What is Dallas looking to get here as far as the matchup that they want? Well, I think Jason Witten is, is one option. And then I think the other option is what we saw on first down. That's Tony Romo's feet. And so if you get man coverage, and if you get rear ends, if he sees rear ends from the pass coverage, that means they're locked up in man, then he can use his instinct and find the open ground. That's imperative for the defensive front of New Orleans to maintain their gap control. Not get past the, the, the passer. You can't get beyond it. Romo, Austin, first down and more. To the Saints, 45. Gain of 32. The Saints showed pressure and then backed out of it. And Austin is able to find the hole in the zone. You see Witten underneath did a nice job of clearing that out underneath. They followed him. Austin fills the void and he shows you what he got. I think he's fired up right now. Romo, 283 yards passing. Under six minutes to go for the Saints, 45. Romo again to Phillips. First down to the 22. And stayed in bounds. Gain of 23. And Romo does a nice job again. I'll tell you, this is as this is good as I've ever seen him play. With all the pressure, watch a little pirouette, comes back outside, finds Phillips, and then Phillips does a nice job of staying in bounds. Now the Cowboys have gone from a dangerous third and seven in their own territory to first to ten at the Saints 22, leading by seven with just under five minutes to go. Now it's time for the big boys. Run it down their throat. Or throw it to Sam Hurd. <laughs> Shoulder down by Sharper. Gain of six. Tony Romo sees that one on one out there and he must like that thing and he just goes with the smoke right away. Smoke is just that quick throw as fast as you can get it out there. Superdome was in full throat two minutes ago. Romo is giving them a lozenger. Yeah, and, and if you listen real close, you can hear Don Shula breathing again. We saw it Thursday night here on NFL Network. The Colts get to 14 0. Saints in a lot of trouble to match them. Marion Barber. Has a first down to the 11. Gain of four. Greg Williams' defense not able to get the stops when they've needed it here on this drive. NFL Network presents a special Christmas edition of Thursday Night Football. The Chargers play as well as anybody. They'll take on the Titans, trying to keep their playoff hopes alive. And Chris Johnson's pursuit of 2,000 rushing yards. Chargers, Titans, Christmas 7 Eastern live on NFL Network. Chris Johnson is having a phenomenal year, but I got to tell you, Philip Rivers and Norv Turner, they are, they have that same kind of synergy going right now. And Norv Turner. North Turner's offenses attack safeties better than anybody in the league. They, they're just outstanding. He's a great play caller, and Rivers is playing outstanding. 10 and 3 on the season, sitting at the second seed. They have a huge game at home against Cincinnati tomorrow. And Drew Brees can only watch and hope that his defense can force a turnover down by seven. Use the clock. Barber 
No game. Will Smith on the tackle. New Orleans will call a timeout with 3.52 to go. Obviously, a Dallas field goal here makes it a two possession game. But that third and seven pass to Miles Austin, the huge play in this football game for the Dallas Cowboys. And Tony Romo is the one who's just, he's been a stud today. He has, from start to finish, a couple bad decisions in there today, but overall, Tony Romo has played as well as you could have asked anybody to play. And I think this is, if you're a Dallas Cowboy fan, with all the pressure they put on themselves for this week, knowing they had to win this game, knowing was what is at stake, coming down here to New Orleans against an undefeated team and an MVP candidate, Drew Brees, and they answered the bell, and he has been sterling. Romo, 22 of 34, 312 yards. This is his 23rd 300 or more yard passing game. He's 18 and 4 in the previous 22. Felix Jones in a tailback. Second and 11. Jones picks his way inside the 10. Vilma on the tackle, gain of four. Clock continues to tick as Nick Folk, who did make his field goal back in the first half, waits. Well, when they want to chew up the clock, they trust Leonard Davis and Andre Grode and Kyle Kozier inside to be able to get a push on that interior of New Orleans. They've been able to do it. Jones the tailback. Jones on the handoff will not get the first down. Malcolm Jenkins on the tackle after. Now the Cowboys will use that play clock. That'll get down to 220. Not even, I would even, uh, heck, you could even take the penalty here. Who cares? Well, listen, with Nick Folk's history, of having missed more <laughs> field goals than anybody else, I keep it right where it is. But Folk could give the Cowboys a two possession lead. Wade Phillips is going to let this clock run all the way down, use as much time as six on the play clock. Wade just waiting and so he gets that call with 2.20 to go. Charge timeout, Dallas, 30 seconds. Well, I'll take a look at pregame warm ups. And, you know, they had a little kicking contest with Beeler. And uh, he was missing him with no rush. How about that? You couldn't get that kind of movement on your golf swing. He was missing him right and left. But you know what? In the game near the end of the first half, he made the field goal true right down the middle. His problem area has been between 40 and 49 yards. He's missed seven of his nine kicks in that range. But he has one in that range tonight. So this to make it a two possession game. Made a 44 yarder last time. This squared up from 24. Romo gets it down and he hits the right up and missed it. Got to be kidding me. Well, he opened the door. By hitting the pole. By hitting the pole, he opened the door for the Saints. Snap was good. Romo got it down. He just drilled that right upright. Boy, the Saints have seen this before. They were dead in Washington a few right. weeks ago. Exactly right. Sean Swisher missed one from just about that range that would have sealed the game. Saints tied it down the stretch and won it in overtime. Breeze incomplete. Intended for Colston. Brady James on the coverage. Fans want a flag. Dallas fans want a new kicker. 
Well, there was a lot of talk and doubts. They had Beeler and Folk taking turns in practice. Folk has now missed 10 on the season. Remember, New Orleans out of timeouts, other than the two minute warning. They can't stop the clock. Second attempt for Breeze. Pass batted at the line. Breeze has it. Breeze is going to get tackled for a loss of five. Should have batted it down. Exactly right. He was trying to make a play. That takes us to the two minute warning. Saints need to go 85 yards to tie it. Thursday Night Football Special Edition is brought to you by Lexus. The Lexus December to Remember sales event. Now through January 4th at your Lexus dealer. And by Sirius XM. Hear how satellite radio is changing the way you listen. Back in New Orleans, the Saints down by seven, trying to join the Colts at 14 and 0. The Cowboys trying to snap a two game losing streak and keep control of their playoff destiny. Third and 14 for New Orleans from their own 15. Reeves under pressure. Nice tackle made by Keith Brooking on Pierre Thomas. Well, they went with man to man coverage underneath with two safeties deep. And they're putting it all in. And, they're, and usually in that coverage, if you take off and run, you have you have area. But they're forcing the ball to come out. And this is where their undefeated season is right here. They've got to get 10 yards or it's over. Rees, Colston, got it. Gain of 14. He had pressure from the backside. He stepped up. Again, it's that sense. And now they're going hurry up again. Which they have to. No timeouts. They get Pierre Thomas to the ground. Colston on the tackle under a minute to go. Defensively, you'll give that underneath stuff as long as you can make the tackle and eat up the clock. Breeze to the sideline, incomplete. That's Lance a, Moore could not handle it. That's a good incompletion. It stops the clock. Coming up after the game, the K Jewelers post game with Rich Dion Marshall and Mooch. We'll have a few things to talk about. Pass to perfection. Could it be coming to an end for New Orleans? Updated NFC playoff picture. And of course, live post game reaction. Third and five for New Orleans. 38 seconds to go. They need 61 yards to tie it. You know what I like? Game's on the line. DeMarcus Ware is in there. Doesn't matter how he feels, he wants to make a play. And he's been getting pressure. To the sideline, Pierre Thomas has the first down. Stops the clock with 32 seconds to go. Excellent effort by Thomas. Great awareness of understanding where the sticks are. Gets out of bounds and the first down. Matt, with the coverage that the Cowboys are playing, how can the Saints then get the ball down for They're running out of time. This is patience. At one point, they're going to have to take a shot right around the 35 yard line. That's what they need to get to. Then he can take some shots. Safety's dropped deep. Breeze under pressure. Breeze for Meacham. Knocked away by Newman. 26 seconds to go. Boy, had Breeze been able to set his feet on that one, he had a chance for Meacham. He couldn't quite get his feet set, and he had to just kind of let it fly. But had he been able to throw it up the field a little bit more, Newman had been beat. It's out of Tony Romo's hands now. He drove his team for what should have been a game clinching field goal. He did everything right today. Now he can only watch that man, Drew Brees. Pressure again. Breeze has a first down, and Henderson steps out of bounds in Cowboy territory at the 42. 
mm. with 18 seconds to go. Gain of 13. Just you're defending the sidelines. You know they have to get the ball out of bounds. Henderson's on the comeback. Jenkins is he's playing it perfectly. He came down with that thing and stepped out of bounds. They still need about yeah, probably 12 to 15 yards, and then they can take their shot to the end zone. Well, Indianapolis needed their defense Thursday night to keep perfection going. The Saints need their offense to get in the end zone with 18 seconds to go. Breeze. Hit from behind, incomplete. Anthony Spencer, who's played a monster of a game. And they've been taking turns just ripping up over there on Bushrod, 74. Now, in fairness to Bushrod, that's a long time to have to hold, to hold your guy because he's looking down the field. Matt, the arm coming forward here. Or is that a fumble? Looks like the, arm looks like coming the arm's forward. coming forward. Now, obviously, this would be a booth review. It would come from upstairs. And Terry McCauley has been signaled from upstairs for a booth review. Sean Payton wants an explanation. And Terry McCauley says, I'm going to look at the replay. 12 seconds to go. The Saints down by seven. Back in New Orleans, Terry McCauley called for the booth review on the Drew Brees pass. It was ruled incomplete on the field as Anthony Spencer hits him from behind. Matt, arm coming forward. It looks like the arm is starting to come forward. What they would have to determine is if the pressure and the hit brings the arm forward. But it looks like it's coming forward there. And if it's ruled a fumble, the Saints perfection After review, over. the ruling on the field stands, second down. So the Saints still have 12 seconds of life. 12 seconds, that's about three plays. And that's three quick plays, the ball coming out fast. Got to get it into the end zone, down seven. Now Drew Brees is asking about the clock. So he's pointing up to the clock as far as how much time was left. But as Terry McCauley, everything goes under review. Once you go to the review booth, you right. look at everything. And they look at the time, 12 seconds to go. This has been a well-officiated game. He brought his A game with a bad neck. And that will end the undefeated quest for perfection. Demarcus and Ware, who is questionable, gets his second sack and second force fumble. This is the matchup that they wanted. He beats them with power and speed. And there's the fumble. Third turnover of the game for the Saints. And Sean Payton knows we didn't play perfect football tonight. And that's why they'll get their first loss of the season. Romo takes a knee. And the Dallas Cowboys have done something no team has done before this season. They've beaten the New Orleans Saints. And Wade Phillips. A big weight off his shoulders and this entire team and organization as they get their ninth win, trying to hold on to a playoff spot and still have an opportunity to win the NFC East, although they trail the Eagles by a half game with Philadelphia to play tomorrow. Well, Tony Romo played an outstanding game. He was in control. The game didn't get too big for him. And he made plays when he had to. And then on the flip side, I think both those defensive ends I think Spencer played an outstanding game, as did DeMarcus Ware. Ware, you know, that's the sign of a great play. Make a play, rather. Make the play when it, when you have to make a play. When, when the game's on the line and somebody has to step up big, that's when great players play big. And Ware did that. 
Drew Brees and Tony Romo exchanging well wishes. So at least for a week, pressure's off the Cowboys. And for Drew Brees, well, they still got to worry about the Vikings, who are just a half game behind them. Saints get a nice ovation after winning their first 13, the most wins in franchise history. They've already secured a first round bye. They haven't locked up home field advantage throughout. And for Dallas, what a deep breath for the Cowboys organization as they get their ninth win of the season. And Tony Romo throws for 312 yards as we send it down to Alex. Well, Tony, first let's talk about a player who was questionable all week, did not practice in DeMarcus Ware, and then makes a big play at the end of this game. I tell you what, I, I said it to the guys this week. Obviously, he's an incredible player, but he's an even better person. And being around him every day, you know what kind of commitment he has to this team. And the way that he comes out there and fights every day, it's just a pleasure to see. Take me back to the start of this game. You score on your first two possessions. What did the fast start do for you? Well, I think against these guys, you have to have that. I mean, you, you can tell that um, they're explosive. You know, they're, they're a great team. It was a great challenge in this environment. I mean, it was as loud as it could possibly be. And uh, our team did a great job of rising to the challenge today. I'm proud of them. How do you rate your play today, personally? Well, we won, so that's always what you're striving for. Individual stuff, there's, you know, you always want stuff back. You always hope you can, you know, do things a little differently sometimes. But when you win, everything's okay. All right, it is um, December 19th. Do you think this win will finally uh, get the <laughs> Dallas can't win in December talk stopped for a while at least? <laughs> well, I tell you what, no, I don't think it will stop. But uh, it definitely will calm it down for this week. You know the town that you play in too well, huh? Yeah, exactly. Tony, though, this keeps you you guys alive. I mean, a big game for you, a big win. Yeah, I mean, it was important. We had to have this. We stressed it all week. You know, it's funny. We sat there, and, you know, our special teams coach, Joe DeCamillis, showed a tape of Tony Dungy this week saying, no chance, and uh, about us in this football game. <laughs> Good job, Big guy. Tony, thank you so much. Bob, back up to you. Thank Congratulations. You. Well, they not only had a chance, they took advantage of a great opportunity. They came to party here in New Orleans, but it's the Dallas Cowboys that will begin the celebration. We're going to hear from DeMarcus Ware on the postgame show as the New Orleans Saints try to remain perfect. Well, it was the Dallas Cowboys who played a perfect game tonight, nearly a perfect one. They beat the Saints 24-17. Stay tuned for the K Jewelers post game show. Thanks to Palabolas for their work on our show open. We'll see you next Friday on Christmas night where the San Diego Chargers travel to Nashville to take on the Titans. So, for Matt Millen and our entire crew at NFL Network, good night and thanks for watching. Thank you for watching this presentation of the National Football League on NFL Network.